Hello everyone, I'm Cryptic Fox, and today we're headed to the kitchen. We're going to become our own professional chefs in here, although professional is probably a very loose term for what I'm going to become. Welcome to Cooking Simulator. As you've already noticed, the restaurant you're now employed in does not have the greatest rating. Your task is to restore it to its former glory and reach the highest level of prestige. The last chef left the kitchen covered in sticky notes. Maybe this will be some of use to you. Good luck. Uh, it had better be, because I don't really know what I'm doing. We're coming into this game totally blind. Uh, this is a demo that's available for uh, a simulator game that's coming out. Man, there's all kinds of stuff here. Uh, coming out on December 6th. Notifications. Look, someone ordered a dish. Every time a client orders something, you'll be notified in the upper left corner of the screen. Notifications will also appear when you only have a minute left to complete a dish. You're slightly late or when a client gives up waiting and goes home. To work then. Uh, all right, so I, I guess it's, up, it's on the screen. All right, so we have to make... Baked trout. Oh, all right. There we go. Uh, let's see. We need trout, lemon, parsley leaves, fresh, black pepper, dill. Oh, my gosh. This is complicated. All right. Uh, take trout, 200 grams. We have to season it. Um, where where do we hide? I guess the trout's probably in the fridge, right? It's got to be in the fridge. All right. Well, that's <laughs> there's not really a lot of ingredients. I can see why this kitchen wasn't doing so well. Okay. Money. Try not to go bankrupt. Almost everything in the kitchen costs money. Plates, products, and especially repairs don't take more than you need. Keep an eye on your balance. Once you're out of money, you're out of business. Is this fridge at 743 degrees Celsius? Because that just seems wrong somehow. That must be my currency. Uh, okay, hold on. Oop, close the door. All right, I adjusted my mouse a tiny bit. That was a super sensitive. Okay, so we need to take our trout. Uh, we're gonna want to. We're gonna want to season it with black pepper, thyme, and dill. Uh, place on a baking tray and bake for 120 seconds. Um, all right, I guess I can I can put the product down. Just stick that right there on the table. We're going to need a baking pan, so I guess we might as well just season it right on the pan, right? If we can find out where they stash these in this wonderful kitchen. This is actually a really nice kitchen. It's a good thing they have post-it notes everywhere. That we're gonna, okay, don't forget to change the oil frequently. Grill party every afternoon. Those were the days. Uh, okay, where do they hide the trays? Where's the oven? Oh, there's, here's the oven over here. So maybe there's, maybe we got some trays in the oven, maybe? Nope, definitely not. I will never again put a fire extinguisher into the oven chamber. Okay, they're <laughs> they're just tempting me now. <laughs> I'm kind of really curious what happens if I put if I put a fire extinguisher there. Now you know why you only have one hand. Oh, but I'm bum. Okay, where is where's the baking trays? Okay, I'm really silly. These are the baking trays over here. They're right next to the oven. Naturally, what happened? Did I throw it? Uh, that's definitely not supposed to stay there. There we go. We have our baking tray, so we'll just uh, put this over here. Right down, right down. On, come on, let me let me put it down. Why can't I put that down? Okay, there we go. Oh, come on! I put it on top of the fish. <laughs> Where'd the fish go? Ah, okay, we got it. We got it. Fish stuck to the bottom of the tray, but it's fine. Everything's fine. We we can cook this. All right. So we've got our trout on the tray. We need black pepper, thyme, and dill. Now I wonder, do I have to actually measure this stuff when I when I take it? Oh wait, there's a radio over here. What, what can we put on the radio? This will keep you sane. Playing games is, is work is fun. Uh, you're gonna need those numbers. All right, let's um. Wow, that's loud. All right, not playing. How do I turn it off? All right, that's that's too loud. Okay, plus it's all. Uh, <laughs> I think it might be all copyrighted music. We don't want to play around with that. This is my favorite. All right, let's um. Let's find the seasoning. Uh, I feel like the seasoning should be back here. Okay, so this looks like black pepper. It is. We've got that. Uh, can I grab other things while I'm back here? Dried thyme? No, I can only do one at a time. Man, I... Oh, you know what? You want to use fresh thyme, though, right? No, thyme dried. All right, so black pepper. Uh, how much do I put on here? Oh, my gosh. That is super detailed. Okay, um, cancel that. So I think we've seasoned it with black pepper. I can't tell what I've done. Black pepper, four grams. All right, we need we need one more. One more gram. Uh, okay, now cancel. Five grams. Okay, so then we got five grams of black pepper. Whew, this is really detailed. Uh, dried thyme, we want some of this. Put this over here. We need another five grams of this. I feel like the sound effects aren't working somehow. Okay, we've got we've got that, I guess. Wait, why does it say there's only... Oh, wait, so I, I didn't get it all on the fish. Oh, my gosh, you've really got to get it, like, right on the fish. 
I can see when it comes down to like having to rush orders, this is going to be a real problem. Okay, so we have five grams of time. Oh, we need dill. Where's the dill? Uh, I guess this is probably dill here. Yep. All right, get that dill on there. Come on. How many? How, wait, how many grams of dill was I supposed to put on? Was it five? Also, yeah, five grams of dill on here. Is it five? Five. All right, we got it. It's all seasoned. Um, now it needs to be placed in a baking tray, which we already have. Bake for 120 seconds. Okay, so let's drop that there. Grab our fish. Please tell me I can open up the oven while I'm carrying this thing. Yes, I can. Good. Okay, let's plop this right in here. Right in, right in here. There we go. Stick, stick that in the oven. Okay, close this up. How long did... Where, how do I set the timer on this thing? Okay. Um, what do I do? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's on. I think. How do I know how long, how long it's gonna cook for? Please tell me it just cooks it. It cooks for its own timer, and I don't have to like do something weird here, because I don't know what this little second dial's for. All right. Well, we'll, we'll let the, oh wait, there's a there's a timer right here. Uh, so I've already had it in for a little bit. We need to. Um, oh nope. How, how many seconds is this? Okay, so rotate. Nope. That just flips it all around. Oh, set up timer. There we go. F. Okay. So we're going to go 120 seconds. I, I, I'm i at a loss. Is this... I assume this is seconds. Seven... Oh, no. That's minutes. All right. Well, that's that's not going to work. Okay. Hold on a second. We got we to gotta fix this. Turn this back. Turn it back. We want We want like less than a minute now. This is this is not very precise. 120 seconds we have to put it in for, just two minutes. Uh, it's already been in there for a little bit though, so we'll leave it. It might get it might come out slightly undercooked, but you know better undercooked than overcooked, I guess. Ooh, big trout. Oh man. Oh, this, this is the same recipe. Okay, so we have. Oh my gosh, only a minute ten left to get this thing back on there. So we need to. Uh, all right, so season with horseradish dried, played up with lemon quarters. Okay, we need lemon quarters. Where are the lemons? Are they? In... You want them? Want to take more? Bring a container. All right. Well, we we have potatoes over here. But we don't have lemons. What do we have? This this kitchen is really poorly stocked. Um, lemon quarters. Do we have lemon quarters somewhere? Are they up? They're not by the. They're not at the pass, unfortunately. Oh man, we're gonna fail our first dish. This is really not good. Uh, are they, did they put them in the fridge? No, it's all meat in here. Nothing but meat in the fridge. Where are the lemons? All right. Uh, well, parsley leaves fresh. We'll grab some of those. Let's see, what do we got here? That's uh those are chives, cilantro, parsley is fresh. Okay, we got some of those. I know it's done. I, I gotta get oh mate, I gotta get it out of the oven in time. Is that what the deal is here? Pop that open. Ooh, it looks done. It doesn't look done. Hold on a second there. I think the green bar was showing that it wasn't quite finished yet. Come on. Let's put that put that back in the oven. Oh, come on. It's a little tricky getting in there. Oh, I just did I grab the fish? Okay. I don't think it's done yet. It needs four seconds. Over time. Oh no, wait, it went over. No, wait, my order went over. Ah! Stop that rigging! Okay, hold on, hold on. We got this thing. We got this thing. It's ready. We got it. And get out of here. It's still going. <laughs> Alright, hold on. Grab this thing. Um uh, how I oh stop timer. There we go. Jeez. That thing is annoying. Okay, so where'd my fish go? Oh, I threw it on the floor. Okay, that's okay. The customer won't notice. It's too hot, apparently. I can't pick it up. Uh, pick up product. I can't pick up product. Why can't I pick up the... It's too hot. Um, okay, we've got an issue. Well, then maybe we can get it with the tongs. We'll just get it off the floor with the tongs. We'll dust it off. Oh, wait a minute. Precise handling of tools in the kitchen is crucial. Holding down shift will open up new ways to manipulate whatever you're currently holding in your hands. All right, well, that's probably good. Okay, we can move that way. We can roll this way. Oh my gosh, this is going to be an adventure. Um, tell me I can pick this thing up. Nope, I just threw it on the floor. Good job. Tong it. <laughs> we got it. Okay, oh, wait, I closed the oven. Yeah, you know what? That's fine. They, they get... Ah! I threw the fish on the floor again. Hold on, give me, give me the tongs. Okay, give me this. Oh my gosh, this is really hard. Okay, we've got our fish. We're going to pretend it's fine. 
it i mean i'm sure it's fine it's i'm sure it's it's just great all right we threw that down there we're gonna need a plate for this thing um i'm sure there's a way to crouch down in here but i, I apparently don't know how to do it all right we have a large basic plate we'll just throw this down here we'll grab our little fish which is apparently still too hot so we'll grab our tongs and i threw my fish on the floor again oh this is going to be the dirtiest fish ever don't eat at my restaurant. That's all I'm. That's all I'm going to say. It's probably not advisable. How do I shift? Okay. How do I? How do I do this? I can't put it down. I can't. Well, I threw it. Um, that didn't work. Oh, come on! You're killing me here. You're just killing me. Let's get this. Oh, you. We broke a plate. No, oh, you don't have. Those cost money. <laughs> All right, hold on. Get that. Get our tongs. Get our fish. I can't pick up the fish. Why can't I get the fish with the tongs? Okay. This is the most challenged fish ever, but we've got it. We got it. How do I put it down? Release is F. Oh, my gosh. And then... Nope. How do I put you down? I have to go like this. Go like this. And... Ugh. Canceled order. Your guest hasn't received his dish on time and you decided to leave. I'm sure you'll write something nasty on social media. And the fame of this restaurant will suffer. Sometimes it's better to serve a dish, even poorly made, than to not serve one at all. I can't even get it on the plate. So I guess that sort of rules out... Oh, um, all right. You know what? Get these out of here. All right. Uh, well, we got to wait for another order. Uh, I, can't, I still can't pick up this trout. It's too hot. What do I do with this thing? Okay, this needs to go in the bin. Oh, you know what? I could put it in there easy enough, but you think I could put it on the plate? No, of course not. And I'm totally wasting power over here. How do I put this down? What did I just do? All right, get this out of here. We don't need that. This pan's dirty now. It's a big tray. It's got stuff on it. Got to throw it in the dish. In the dish pit. Oh, wait a minute. Um, okay, how do I rotate faucet? Okay, that's that's not helping. There we go. Look at that. We got this all clean. Get this nice and nice and oh, it's all full of water now. Um, all right, I've got a tray full of water. I can't do anything with it. Oh, there we go. Oh, we threw it. All right, well, whatever. Okay. All right, where's the dish kid? I can't, <laughs> I really can't do this on my own. I'm a competent. Okay, well, uh, we're closed for the night, I guess. Uh, good job. There was uh, some fabulous cooking. We're, you know, I see why they're going out of business. It's quarter to five, and they're already closing for the night. It's still sunny out. I found a book. I don't know what I could do with the book. Can I throw the book? Oh, yes. Oh, my God. Uh, I broke the window. Sorry. Uh, that, was <laughs> that was not really... <laughs> Uh, I didn't know you could break windows in this, but that's pretty cool. Uh, oh, wait a minute. How, can we pick up like everything in here? No, not everything. We definitely can't get everything. What goes in the blender, I wonder? Food processor container. I think I saw... You know what? This timer... Well, we, this, is, this is a different timer. We've got multiple timers in here. Can we put the timer in here? No? How do you... Okay, I need to figure out how to work this stuff. Because I can't figure out how to put things in there. This is my favorite. I bet it is. Uh, okay, what about this? Can we open up... Open up the microwave. We got a double timer going. We got, we got the microwave with the timer going. There we go. Look at that. That's perfect. Uh, we need to do um, whatever that does. How do I put it on high? Because it's on low, medium, high. There we go. Let that go for a bit. I'm sure it's fine. Wait a minute. What's this? Press to start. New game. 501. All right. Um, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Day one. Fame. Zero out of ten. Cooking point zero. Orders one. Finished orders zero. Expenses. It costs us $16, which is actually really cheap to run a whole restaurant for a day. I mean, all things considered. Wait, what happened to my game? I was starting a game. Get that knife out of here. Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think I see the idea here. Oh, where'd the knife end up? <laughs> <laughs> nice. I think they haven't finished all the sound assets for this game, but there's a lot of stuff that doesn't seem to make a lot of noise. Uh, I mean, you, you get like, oh, math is sharp. You already know something about that. 
Uh, place a product, take a knife, and hope for the best. As my girlfriend always says, the shape doesn't matter as long as... Oh, okay, never mind. Just make sure no... Oh, boy. <laughs> Let's just put that down. Um, grab another knife. This seems like the safest place to keep the knives. We'll just stash them over here. Now, the another one came in a little bit low, so we're going to aim a little higher this time. What the? Did that go out the window? Uh, well, we lost the knife. That that was not anywhere near where I was aiming at. Apparently, I don't know how to throw. Oh, it's up behind the garbage can. All right. Good times. I think I must have hit the, uh, hit the vent thing up above there. Whoa! <laughs> All right, I don't know how to throw, apparently. All right, well, it did say specifically we should never put the fire, fire extinguisher in the oven, so I can't help but wonder what happens if we do. So we'll just stick this right in here. That's... All right, perfect. Excellent. Uh, we will turn this on. Uh, now, I don't know what the settings are on this one. It doesn't really say. I, I don't know what that does. It's not... It's really not clear. Whoa! Um, I blew up the stove. It blew the doors off of both of them. I guess we're not going to be preparing too many baked orders. So nobody order anything that requires baking. I want to do some cooking on the grill here. What can we what can we put on the grill? Uh, we've got uh, tuna steaks. I mean, those are pretty good if you sear them off nice. Uh, but I think we're going to have a regular steak down here. And uh, we're just going to throw this. Oh, it's a flat top. It's not even a proper grill. Um, who wants a... All right. We're open for business. First order should arrive in... Oh, no. Now you tell me. I thought... Okay, we're playing just the demo version of the game, and I actually thought I was done. <laughs> I hope I don't have to bake anything now, because we may have made a minor mess with our oven, and look, it's baked trout. Baked trout. <sighs> All right. Um, well, that's a problem. Uh, can I put the doors back on this thing? Can I... Is that a thing? Can I fix this? I, I don't think I can. Does the oven still work, I wonder? Let's, let's throw that down there. Can I still turn the oven on? Uh, whoops. All right, well, we got a tray. I <laughs> didn't, didn't mean to grab that, but we've got it. Oh, wait. Let's go to the prep station over here. We'll, use, we'll call... Well, this will be our prep station. Prep stuff there. Um, yeah, the, the, oven's a, the oven's a little bit broken, so we're going to need to do this fish just a little bit differently. I know you ordered baked trout, but we're going to do... We're going to deal this a little different. Okay, we'll grab our tuna out of here, or trout out of here, rather. Stick that on our baking tray. This oven's not even on, so I can't even cook my steak. I want to eat a little bit. Okay, we're going to need black pepper again, so we'll grab this. Get that on you there. Or five grams. Ah, six grams, whatever. Five grams, six grams, it's fine. Ooh, I only got five on the fish. I guess that's okay. Poured more than that, but... Oh, here's the plates I should have been looking for. Here you'll find everything. Well, not everything. Well, well, we found the uh, found the door to the oven. How far will this go? Eh, pretty far. <laughs> it blew it all the way across the room. <laughs> okay, our fish is uh, ready-ish to be baked, but the problem is we don't have anything to bake it with. So instead, we're just gonna throw that right here on the flat top. We'll just do a little griddle. It's a griddle fish. It's fine. Um, I threw the tongs around somewhere. Now I don't know where they went. And then things exploded. And now... Oh, wait. Ah, we got a flipper. Spatula. Okay. Let's flip the steak over, can we? Down. <laughs> I just want to scoop underneath it, and I can't get the... I can't get this thing to work. S scoop under the fish. All right. Uh, it's sloppy, but we, we got it. it fl we flipped the fish over. Okay, let's... Hold on. Uh, no. No. <sighs> this isn't working. Rotate. Ooh, okay, well, we can rotate it. How do I... <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, it just, just picks it up and puts it right on there. Okay, so let's um, we'll hold this to rotate. We'll flip it right over. Oh, yes, that looks just nice golden... <laughs> golden colored. All right, that's awful. Um, I really wish I had the tongs. The tongs were easy compared to this. Uh, let's put the fish on here. Okay, we got... Uh, that's going to represent a problem. Oh, wait a minute. I could just... There we go. Move this carefully over here. Um, drat. All right. Oh, okay, I don't need that. Let's get rid of that. I need a plate. Grab a plate quickly. Wait a minute. That's a huge plate. That's a platter. Large plate basic. We don't want that. Let's get a regular plate basic. Okay. 
We'll we'll put it on this one. We'll try and <laughs> we we unsuccessfully played it before, but I'm sure we can get it this time. It's hot. I can't pick it up because it's hot. Uh, where did I put that flipper? There it is. On the garbage can. So it's good and sanitary. We're fine. Give me the spatula. We got it. We got it. We'll just put our fish on the spatula. It's all right. Move slowly. Don't drop. Oh, we're swinging it all over. Don't drop it. Put it on the plate. Put it, put it on the... Why can't I put it on the plate? Okay, hold to rotate, and boom! Almost, we we almost got it. <laughs> this is this is brutal. Put the fish on the flipper, Jobby. There, the fish is on the plate. We did it. Jackpot. Um, how do I put this back? Put the tool down. Okay, whew, look at that. We even put the tool back where it belongs. Okay, so we have our big trout on there at a minute forty. So it's um, we'll we'll say that it's been baked. Whatever, we need to season with ho dried horseradish, five grams, and then plate with lemon quarters. I, I don't, I still haven't found the lemons. I don't see where the lemon quarters are. Horseradish dried, okay. So we need five grams of this on here. That nice steamy hot fish. It's not baked, but it's still good. Don't you worry. Look at the, oops, uh, well, we put a little extra on there, but that's okay. Oh, throw that there. So how much did I put on it? Six grams. All right, so only a tiny bit. We a little bit over. Uh, plate up with lemon quarters, serve hot. Well, it's still hot, that's for sure. Lemon quarters. Cut lemon, 80 grams into quarters. Garnish with fresh parsley. We got some fresh parsley. Grab this here. Just garnish that up right there. That looks super fancy. Where is the lemon? I, I can't find lemon here anywhere. I, I've checked all over. All right, whatever. We don't have the lemon, but we're going to put this up anyway. We've got... The fish isn't cooked properly anyway. It's not... No, no sense being, like, super picky about it. Uh, put that there. Ding, ding. Uh, I don't know what that is, but order's ready. Big trout. Come get it. Taste. Determined by the technical and thermal quality of the fish. Taste is not good. Realization time was fine. Overall score. Cooking points. Uh, wow. We didn't really do super good. Unhappy guest. You can reimburse him. Assuage his anger. Ignore him. Uh, well, you know what? Don't refund. We need our money. <laughs> After foolishly jumping into the restaurant completely blind, I decided to start over a little bit. Uh, I did a little bit of practicing. I've uh, I checked out the tutorial, so I have some sense of what I'm doing now. I'm not completely incompetent. Uh, and actually, I also figured out what we can do with the radio. Whoa! Hold on. Hold on. Hold the phone. So if we go into settings for the audio, we can actually put in our own music uh, music setting here for the MP3 music path. And uh, and then we can just play our own music. Now, I'm going to set this down pretty low because I don't want the music to be too loud. Uh, but we'll set up some music in here, and then that will let me uh, let me play some of my own stuff, I guess. So we'll just throw a little bit of light jazz on there, so we can have a, a little bit of background sound while we're uh, while we're cooking. Because frankly, it's it's really quiet in the kitchen. There's not a whole lot of sound effect in here. Now this is the grilled tuna steak. Uh, I did fortunately find the lemons finally, and also where we can buy more lemons. So when we run out, uh, we have a way to get more of those. Uh, but this we're going to need a tuna steak, salt and pepper, a few other things. Uh, let's just grab a tuna steak out of here. We'll stick this on the cutting board. Now, once I got the hang of how to actually do this, it's actually kind of neat. I mean, um, I can see how if you got a bunch of orders, right now it's just doing the orders one at a time. And I can see how if you had a bunch of orders, it would get to be pretty tough. But for right now, it's fairly manageable. We can do it one at a time. And then with the uh, with the, the little cutting board here, we can pick up. Whoops. Uh, got, can't have the cutting. Uh, the movements are a little bit, a little bit funky. A little oversensitive sometimes. Okay, so we need... Oh, uh, no, wait a minute. I don't need... Uh, we need just salt and pepper, I think, for this. The dill was the... Oh. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely much easier. Yeah, that's this is going great. <laughs> I don't know. Put, the shelf, put that back on the shelf. Pick up a cutting board. I only need... I only need salt and pepper. You don't, don't mess with me now. Come on. All right. We moved too quickly, and I didn't even put it on the tray. That's that's awesome. Okay, now, now it's on. Where, where did I kick the pepper to? Well, so much for bringing the tray. The idea with the bringing the tray is you can put more than one item on it, and then it's a little bit easier. And why is this sitting over here? Um, all right, you go down there, I guess. Ooh, good thing that didn't blow up. Okay, I don't know where the pepper disappeared to. It just, it totally vanished. It, I kicked it at some point, and it rolled off somewhere in the kitchen, and I don't know where. But we can go over here. We can buy more, fortunately. Uh, here's our spices. Sadly, it is going to cost us a little extra. It's going to cost us twenty-eight currency, whatever that is. 
the dreaded C currency. Uh, now, uh, our recipe here, again, calls for how much pepper? It's uh, five grams of salt, five grams of pepper, so we can stick that on here. Give it a quick little shake. All right, so it's peppered up. Uh, get that down there. Now we need salt. Let me pick up the salt. Let me get this. All right, what's going on here now? There we go. Stick that right over there. Okay, so once we get the five grams of salt and pepper, we need to grill each side for t uh, for 60 seconds each. Now, there is a grill over here. I had trouble finding this before. I also noticed, too, that these post-it notes, when you click on them, they actually pop up stuff. What you're looking at is a Soviet military-grade equipment. It packs quite a punch. No wonder we could deal with meat in five seconds. Just don't leave it on for too long. Oh, and the, the manly way to flip meat is using tongs, not the spatula. Oh, that's great. Okay, well, I guess we'll turn this on. Oh, there's the tongs right there. So we'll need to flip over the meat using that, I guess. We wouldn't want to appear as though we're unmanly. Especially when we're grilling. When you grill, you you know, it's got to be, like, extra manly. That's that's how that works. Um, so I guess when we, when we mouse over, it shows the green progress bar, which will show us, you know, exactly when it's cooked properly. I don't know if there's... If you have to, like, turn this on ahead of time to kind of heat things up properly. But what else have we got here in terms of, like, notes and things? I remember serving the same pot of soup for two weeks straight. And all the complaints I heard were about it, be were about it being microwaved. You, you can feed them rubble and they'll praise you for the texture. But use this just to keep the food warm and they'll hunt you down. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've got to be careful of that. All I need to do is throw stuff on and turn it on. You can actually tell what was inside. Just give it a taste. Turn the blades off first. We don't want to be losing another hand. <laughs> yeah, because I'm only using one hand as it is. It's kind of actually really inconvenient only having one hand in here. All right, so this is, uh, well, it's cooking slowly. That's going to take a little while, so we might as well get the plating and stuff ready for it. So this is going to need some lemon slices. Uh, we have to cut, cut an 80 gram lemon into thick slices, 20 grams, and plate up. Now, it doesn't say necessarily how many slices we need. The picture shows two, so I guess we'll assume there's two. And we'll need some uh, some fresh oregano as well. That we could use as a garnish. So over here we have our plates and stuff. We can grab these. There are also also plates underneath the uh, the preparation area, uh, which is fine too. We might as well grab a lemon while we're in here. Uh, I did find them actually in this drawer at the bottom, which I didn't realize I could open when I did this before. I don't know why. <laughs> you can also order them directly from like those boxes over there, are like some magical delivery system. When you go over there, you can just buy things magically, which is kind of cool. So if you run out of supplies, you can restock and stuff. But every time you pick something up, it costs you money. So it's not like you own it and it's already in your store and you're saving money by not having to, like, buy it in or whatever. Each time you pick it up, it's just immediately a cost there. So let's take the lemon. We're going to chop this up. Uh, we need slices of the lemon. We don't need quarters. The, the, the other fish, the big trout, that was all about the quarters. Now this one needs slices. So I, I don't know how we're going to do this effectively because the, the, the lemon tends to roll a little bit. Yeah, see, look, we, we can't even slice it now. Not not a proper slice, anyway. I guess we'll just try to do what we can. Hack off a chunk there, have a chunk here. They're, they're, not, they're not exactly what you would call smooth slices. Ooh, that one was a nice slice. But we got one good slice. Okay, that's fine. You know, maybe we'll... I, I, the, the way that the customers seem to rate things, I think, are a mix of, like, the timing, the preparation, and the taste. So... Oh, oh, it's overcooking. Uh, uh, no. Grab the tuna. Grab the tuna. It's turning red. Grab that. Okay, now we want to uh, to flip this over. We have to like go like so, and then we hit F to release. Oh no, it didn't flip. Uh, it, it like double flipped on me. Hold on, flip this over. Put it down low. Or reach reach in here if I can and release. This is where you this is where you fall on the grill properly. No, oh no no don't throw it on the floor please. <laughs> that would be bad. Okay, and release. And release. Come, you know what? This is getting really... Rotate. Drop. Oh, no! <laughs> Alright, the tongs are on the grill with it. Uh, okay. Oh, jeez! <laughs> Where'd the fish go? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Five second rule. Uh, is the tuna completely done now? I don't know what the deal is. It's, it's got it red. Oh, we gotta hurry up. Okay, I got it flipped. Uh, what's the deal now? Okay, now that side's cooking. Okay, good. Finally, finally I got it. Let's put these down. Um, so when we want to actually pick stuff up, the cool thing is we can actually just use it with the plate. We don't even have to use the tongs later to pick it up. I, I figured this out by doing the tutorial. Imagine that. The tutorial showed you something to learn how to play the game. I probably should have done it first, but it was kind of fun toying around in the kitchen when I had no clue what I was doing. 
So the once this tune is ready, we'll have that on there. Now we do need uh, some sprigs of oregano. It says uh, like eight grams of oregano. I think we need. Where's the oregano on here? Uh, oregano. There we go. Four grams each. So we're gonna get two of these basically. Um, over time, uh, we're. Oh, what what happened? I dropped a sprig of oregano. Can, can I pick that up again, please? Just get that on the plate. So we took too long on this order. That's gonna cost us. Uh, hopefully we at least have something that tastes good because we need to make up for the fact that we're late the customers out there waiting if they wait too long they will actually bail and just like leave your leave your restaurant and everything which is not so great come on you're almost done get a nice sear on that tuna all right i think it's done so we're gonna grab that we'll plate it up uh we need to plate a couple of lemons on here Oh, look at that. It almost looks like the almost looks like the picture. That's fabulous. Okay, let's put this down here. Now we do have the option here of taking a picture of it. So if we wanted to, to snap a photo, uh, we could do that. A uh, little, little screenshot of our food. We'll exit photo mode, and then uh, we'll just ring this in. It's already almost a minute late. So sorry you had to wait a whole minute for your food, there, customer. Ooh, four and a half stars. We did something right. Now realization time, we got like nothing for. So we only got like a one fame point and a hundred cooking points. As we are up cooking points, we can buy new recipes and stuff too, which is kind of cool. Right now we only have like three. I found that out by playing around here with our laptop. So in the butchery and wine area, we can we can set our, our pricing and stuff for how we do things. I've only served one meal because I had to restart. <laughs> it kind of blew up part of my kitchen. Um, but we can adjust this to, to adjust our profit for, for, for dish, uh, and that, that impacts the customer's expectations, so they're only expecting low, highest tip two. Um, so we'll turn it up and try and increase our profit for, per dish, um, where the customer's expectations will still be low, because frankly, <laughs> we're not exactly prepping fine dining yet. But these are the three dishes I can prepare. We can do a baked trout, uh, steak with french fries, and grilled tuna steak right now. A guest score, they give us a 3.5, generally mixed reviews. The meal was pretty good. I'm impressed. Thank you very much. Uh, it would be better if we had the timing. We would have got a better score. There's even a way in here we can, re we can like, totally redesign our kitchen. Now, it, it costs money. and I, More money than I have. But you can do, like, redo, like, the flooring and that kind of stuff. You can change the tiles, everything around, which is really cool. Uh, change around the top wall. Get different looks for the brick and stuff. That's you know the whole thing is like it can be redesigned, which is kind of neat. It gives it a different look. It's everything's still laid out the same, but it looks it looks cool. Uh, in here we have self improvements for the chef. So these are like uh, as we earn skills, we can spend money and skill points, I guess. And then like right now I have 756 currency, which isn't enough to buy anything, but it, we we do have one point to upgrade, which seems to let us uh, let us get some neat little perks and stuff. That's just pretty cool. Uh, and then this is, of course, our profitability, which is being blocked by my playlist, which is popping up over there, but that's okay. We'll just log out of all this anyway. It's not much of a kitchen yet. I mean, it's it's pretty fancy looking. I'd love to have a kitchen like this. It, it, it calls it pretty run down, but uh, we're not really exactly turning a profitable restaurant business right now. But I bet you if we practiced at this a little bit and prepared some more dishes. Uh, this game comes out on December the 6th, and there's supposed to be some additional recipes and things in there. This being just a demo, the recipes are a little bit limited, but uh, it's pretty cool. I, and so far, I'm pretty impressed with it. The uh, the layout of everything, how it all works, is pretty fun. Uh, and I'd like, actually, I'm kind of looking forward to getting into some rush uh, rush dining situations. Uh, but let, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you'd like to see some more of the game, let me know also, and we maybe could play it some more. I'm kind of interested in doing a bit more of this. Uh, I did work in a kitchen myself when I was younger. Uh, it wasn't a, it wasn't as kitchen as nice as this, but uh, so it's it's, it's kind of neat to get back and do some of that and uh, yeah have a little bit of fun with it. But thanks again everyone for checking out the video. I'm as always Cryptic Fox. I'll see all of you next time.